Well, whether it's a new diet or you lost a job or a relationship, the only thing certain in life is change. That is, if you embrace it. So Dr. Dane here is an author, speaker, and facilitator of consciousness and change. And I love this topic. We were both just talking about how much we love this yes. topic because so many people are resistant to change. So true. But you say we shouldn't be. We should go out there and embrace it. Yes. So what's tip number one? You say don't focus on the problem. Exactly. Focus on the possibilities. Don't focus on the problem problems because every change is actually a possibility in disguise if we'll allow it to be mm -hmm. and so and most of the changes that people experience are from something they asked for a long time ago that they don't even remember mm -hmm. that's showing up in a totally different way than they thought they would mm -hmm. if you focus on the possibilities that's what you get to see from the change I love that okay also you say number two uh, start to ask some questions so what kind of questions yes. are we talking about to find out if, if this change is going to be what we want right well, yeah and what it is, is actually to change it so that you actually are embracing the change instead of resisting it because that's where we get stuck is when we resist mm -hmm. so you can ask something like what's right about this change I'm not getting allows you to come out of the wrongness of it and also what else is possible as a result of this change and it will this change my life for the greater mm -hmm. and most of the time it actually will hmm. all right also you say um, <laughs> welcome being uncomfortable yes. I mean we we get so comfortable right in the in what we've always right? done and and so that le that feeling of discomfort is actually a good thing. It saying. actually is. It's actually us getting out of the box. And discomfort occurs for primarily two things. Number one, the old is gone and the new hasn't shown up yet. And we're a little terrified how it might show up. Mm -hmm. And number two, especially for major things, the change you ask for never shows up in the way you think it should. I worked with one lady who hated her job for years and I said, quit. And she said, no, I can't. It's my financial security. So we did some work. Three weeks later, she got fired. <laughs> it turned course, out to be a blessing. Right. Well, she called me and we had to do some more work, yes. of course, using primarily these tools. She got a job two weeks later that paid her more money and she had the time to travel, mm. but it was that change that she had asked for showing up in a totally different way. And so that's when it goes from, uh, you know, you're not, you're no longer making change wrong. You're yes. making it a positive thing. Yeah. And that's when it puts you in the driver's seat where it's like, okay, change is occurring. Cool. Because if it's really a possibility, we need to get to the possibility as fast as possible. Mm -hmm. and, and finally, you say, um, create your future from possibilities yes. and, and not the limits. Yeah, and what we tend to do is we tend to create our lives from limited points of view that we have and projections of other people. But if you made the choice today, hey, you know what? Every day after today, I'm just going to get greater. Mm -hmm. It's a choice we can make. And if you did, would you embrace change easier? And one of the questions to get you there is what is possible beyond my old reality that I never considered before? Mm -hmm. And if you start to function from that point of view, and this is us changing our, our, our own point of view, change starts to become an adventure and a journey that you embrace mm. rather than something that you avoid and just want to stay away from. Okay, well I bet you've inspired some people to I go ahead so. and embrace the change in change. your life. Yes, change. all right. Dr. Here, thanks for coming in. Thanks, Always good Sally. to see you.